Let's now find the sine of the function y equals x squared plus 6x plus 8. Uh, once more, uh, it's easier to do this if you can visualize it, so I'm going to make a sketch of this. Uh, I remember from the previous videos that I can rewrite this in function form, standard form, as x plus 3 squared minus 1. So that means my uh, vertex is at minus 3, minus 3, minus 1 right here. I also remember that the zeros of this, um, the zeros of this were at x uh, equals minus 4 and x equals minus 2. Uh, so here was minus 4, here was minus 2, and I know that it crosses the y-axis at 8. So very quickly, my sketch looks like this, just approximately. Here we go. It's a problem. Pretty ugly. Let's move on. Um, so the question is, what's the sign of, of this function here? Well, the sign basically means it's positive when it's above the y-axis and negative when it's below the sorry, positive when it's above the x-axis and negative when it's below the x-axis. So, uh, let's make the negative uh, part of this red. So here's all the negative part of the parabola. And the domain that corresponds to this negative function here is right there. Here it is. This is the domain that corresponds to uh, this negative function. So it's between these zeros. So uh, the function f of x, which, uh, which for us is this uh, y equals x squared plus 6x plus 8, uh, this function is negative, so strictly less than 0. I'm going to make it strictly less than 0. Um, for the values of x, when x is between negative 4 and negative 2, not including 4 and not including 2 because I'm saying strictly less than 0. So not including the zeros. Not including these zeros. Now if I were asking uh, where it's positive, I would write f of x is greater than or equal to 0. Here I am saying including the zeros. I am including the zeros because it's not strictly greater than. And x would have to be an element of. So let's find out where this happens uh, in green. So this is positive up here in green. And up here also in the this is also green. So uh, what part of the domain corresponds to the green portion of our graph? Well, it's everything underneath it. So it's this piece over here, and that piece over here. Of course, it goes on for as long as the graph goes on. So it goes on to infinity. And uh, the way we would write that now is basically x is a part of negative infinity all the way until four negative four, including union negative 2 all the way to positive infinity. So now we've just glued these two green parts together and said this is where the graph is positive. Uh, basically we've cut out we cut out the red part.